Rangers are taking legal action against people they're describing as certain individuals after police found no criminality in a video that appeared to show players and staff using sectarian language. You, of course, uh, tweeted about this last week. Do you think you're one of the individuals? No, well, I've certainly not received uh, any intimation of that sort. But let me just take you back to the context of last weekend, Gary. What we saw last weekend on the streets of Glasgow was the most disgraceful and shameful display of anti-Catholic bigotry and anti-Irish racism I've ever seen. If it had been anti-Muslim, if it had been anti-Semitic, if it had been against black people, there would have been universal condemnation. But I have to say from some political quarters, not a peep. But did your, do your tweet, but your tweet made the link between the football club and th that behavior that we saw on the streets. Uh, did you jump the gun on that? Gary, it's fascinating because you, of course, are in the BBC asking me these questions. It was your BBC colleagues, of course, that asked, asked me to comment on that video. I wonder if you have the tweet in front of you. I don't think anybody can accuse me of taking a side. I was pretty clear to say, having been asked about that video on a number of occasions, that if, and I stressed, I think I stressed it very clearly, that if that video was genuine, then, of course, action should be taken. And not only did I stress that, of course, I mentioned that police should rightly establish... Yeah, you, you said that I mean, if any player I mean, or staff I mean, member was found guilty of anti-Catholic hatred, they should be shown the door by the club. There are people who believe that, you know, as Justice Secretary as you were at that time, that that was jumping the gun, you were prejudging things. Perhaps you should have just waited for the facts to be established, because we now have those facts. Uh, you, of course, or maybe not you directly, but of course the BBC were the ones who were asking me to comment on that. But that isn't the point, Gary. The point is that we saw anti-Catholic hatred, anti-Irish bigotry and not a syllable of condemnation for, for example, the Conservatives or from other quarters, whereas there would have been universal condemnation if it had been just about virtually any other community. So no, as Justice Secretary, I don't make an apology for calling it out and calling it what it is. I don't blame Rangers Football Club. In fact, I actually have, uh, believe it or not, a very constructive relationship with Rangers Football Club. I'm not here to defend uh, fans or so-called fans who took part in that kind of behaviour. Let's not deflect just... away from what we saw on the 15th, which was simply unacceptable and would have been called out if it was any other community. Can I ask